Hello from Las Vegas, Logan, Tristan, Lily. I am here reading you a story called Toy Story. And that looks like Woody along with Buzz Lightyear on RC. And that, what's that behind him? It's a rocket. Toy Story, adapted by Kristen L. Depkin, illustrated by Ben Butcher for Joe. Andy was a very lucky boy. He had lots of different toys, but his favorite toy was a cowboy named Woody. There's Andy, playing with Woody. Do you know all those three guys? What's his name? Andy loved to play with Woody, but there was something Andy didn't know about Woody and the other toys. When Andy wasn't around, the toys had a life of their own. They moved, they talked, they laughed and had ventures. All toys did, but only when no one was looking. Here's Andy playing with Woody. It looks like they're throwing some rope. It looks like they're laying in a couch. And here, the toys have come alive. And uh, they're holding, it looks like they're holding a meeting. He's got, what's that in his hand? A microphone. It's a microphone. He's got a microphone in his hand. One year, Andy got a brand new toy for his birthday, a space ranger named Buzz Lightyear. Buzz had a flashing lasers, gadgets, and even wings. Buzz thought he was a real space ranger. He even thought he could fly. Woody tried to tell Buzz that he was actually a toy, but Buzz, he would not listen. So, there's Woody trying to explain to Buzz that that's a fake spaceship. There's Rex, there's Potato Head, that's Ham, and they, uh, I think they believe him. Soon Buzz became Andy's new favorite toy, and this made Woody very sad. One day, Andy was going to Pizza Planet. His mom told him he could only bring one toy. Woody wanted to go, so he tried to shove Buzz aside, but he accidentally pushed Buzz out of Andy's bedroom window. Uh-oh. Woody got to go with Andy, but the other toys were very upset. They thought Woody had pushed Buzz out the window on purpose. He looks concerned, and they look concerned. Woody felt bad until Buzz turned up in the car, too. Buzz was angry with Woody, and the two began to fight when the car stopped at the gas station. They tumbled out the back door. Oh no! Andy and his mom drove off to Pizza Planet, leaving Buzz and Woody behind. They had become lost toys. And Andy's family was moving to a new home in just two days. Then Woody spotted a Pizza Planet truck. Woody told Buzz that the truck was a spaceship, and they hopped aboard. Buzz, instead of riding up front, luckily there was a stack of pizzas that kept him hidden from the driver. He decided to ride up front. I misspoke. He insisted on riding up front. He insisted. At Pizza Planet, Buzz climbed into a claw game filled with toy aliens. Buzz thought that the game was a spaceship. Woody tried to get Buzz out, but soon they were both trapped. Oh no. Andy's mean neighbor, Sid, captured Buzz and Woody. Sid loved to torture toys. Woody and Buzz were in trouble. Sid took Buzz and Woody home with him. And Sid... That's the claw game. You can see those two figures. Who is that? That is Buzz. And that, that's Woody. Sid's room was full of mutant toys. He had created them by combining different toy parts in strange ways. And now he had evil plans for Buzz and Woody. They had to escape. 
monster toys. Mutant toys. Buzz tried to fly out of Sid's house, but he fell and finally realized that what he was right, he wasn't a real space ranger. He was just a toy. Sid strapped a rocket to Buzz. He had planned to blow Buzz to pieces. Buzz and Woody had to work together if they were going to escape. But Buzz didn't want to escape. He felt sad because he wasn't a real ranger. Woody helped Buzz understand that Andy loved him and that being a toy was very important. And before they knew it, Buzz and Woody became friends. Woody came up with a plan to save Buzz. He asked Sid's toys to help. Just as Sid was about to blow Buzz up, Woody and the mutant toys came to life. Sid was terrified. He screamed and ran away. Buzz and Woody were thrilled, so were Sid's toys. They knew that Sid would never torture them again. Now Buzz and Woody were free to go back to Andy, but Andy's moving van was already pulling away from the house. They had to catch up. Look how happy everyone is. The duck with the thing on its butt. The guy with the other thing on its butt. Buzz and Woody ran and ran. Sid's mean dog, Scud, began to chase him. Luckily, R.C. came out of the moving van to give Buzz and Woody a ride. They thought they were home free until R.C.'s battery ran down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Then they remembered that Buzz still had Sid's rocket strapped to his back. Woody launched it. Whoosh! Buzz, Woody, and R.C. flew through the air and R.C. landed safely in the back of the moving van. But Buzz and Woody kept going. See that? And there's R.C. R.C. made it into the van, but they're still in the sky. Buzz popped open his wings. The rocket flew into the air and exploded. Buzz and Woody were falling, but thanks to Buzz, they were falling with style. Buzz held on to Woody and veered toward Andy's car. Buzz and Woody glided through the car's sunroof and plopped down next to Andy. Right where they belonged. Oh, that's, um, that's Woody with Buzz and Andy. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I enjoyed reading it to you. I'll be reading another story for you tomorrow, and soon I will begin Three Musketeers by Alexandra Dumas. This is an exciting story about uh, the Three Musketeers. It says, one for all and all for one, the battle cry of the Three Musketeers rings aloud in this fantastic tale of adventure and romance. Join the young cadet D'Artagnan who teams up with three with the three musketeers, Athos, Porthos, and Namaz, as they struggle to save the Queen's honor and thwart the evil schemes of the powerful Cardinal Richelieu and his murderous spies. Some of these languages I'm not accustomed, or some of the, the words, the names, I'm not familiar with too well. D'Artagnan, I think I remember. But, like, Cardinal Richelieu? Richelieu? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Can you see that right? I don't know. All right, boys, I'm going to go. Um, I have to get to work today. It is early for me and late for you. So get to bed. I love you very much. Uh, Lily, Logan, Tristan, you guys be good for mommy. I love you. Bye.